Hey guys, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from us. Now let's get started. And here it is, the Xiaomi Redmi S2, the Chinese version which recently got launched in China. And guys, here is the unboxing and the first impressions how actually the device is. So without wasting any time, let's just unbox this device. And here it is the beautiful Redmi S2, the Chinese variant with Snapdragon 625 mostly. Let's check out how the device is and what are the box contents. So moving on the next, we have some manuals. And if we check these manuals, these are in Chinese, so just ignore them if you want to. Now, the amazing part is you have a case cover which you got in Redmi Note 5 Pro. And the sure, sure thing is this device is quite similar to Redmi Note 5 Pro or you can say the smaller version of Redmi Note 5 Pro. And talking about the stuff, you will get the standard adapter and standard cable, no USB-C or no fast charging. So you can consider this phone as an entry-level phone and you'll get a SIM ejector slot too. So speaking of the phone's specification, there is a Snapdragon. 625 34 gigs with 3264 GB of memory, 3000 mAh battery, 12 plus 5 megapixel rear camera, and the 16 megapixel front camera. The phone is made up of plastic, it is not made of metal, so you cannot consider a heavy durability. It is quite similar to Redmi 5A in terms of 7000 to 10,000 budget. Then there is a Snapdragon 625, which is quite good. The smartphone has speakers at the bottom, 3.5 mm jack on the top, and infrared sensors on the top. So, infrared is quite good thing. So, speaking of the UI, there is a MIUI 9 with 16 to 9 ratio display, and the display is is just beautiful as the Redmi Note 5 in India. Speaking of which, Redmi Note 5 comes at the 9999 price and they both have same spec. On N2 you will get score near about to 78000 which is just an average for today's performing smartphones or you can say this is good for 7000 or 8000 budget smartphone. Camera you can see is way more better than Redmi 5, Redmi 4, Redmi etc those devices and even Redmi Note 5. Speaking of which, the portrait is quite better and the EIS stabilization is also there with the primary second camera. So speaking of which, there is a 16 megapixel camera on the front which is good, definitely just similar as the Redmi Note 5 Pro. The dual cameras work so good, the fingerprint sensors work so good and those antilla lines too look good on this design. And I would say if you want, if Xiaomi is bringing this smartphone to India, you can consider this in 8900. Or maybe 7999 because of its plastic body. So, guys, with SIM, there is a new thing that Xiaomi has introduced. You will get three slots one for micro SD card that will go to 128 gigs, and you will get two slots for nano SIM cards. So, that's great. If there is no more hybrid, you will get three slots, and maybe this will come to next phones too. Also, the phone has gestures, it will wake up on double tap, it will wake down on double tap, and you will get way more gestures on this phone and Xiaomi has claimed that you'll get next Android updates very soon with MIUI. That was it for the video guys. I hope you liked this quick unboxing, first impressions etc. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like the video and share with your friends. Keep supporting. Peace. Oh.